this is Alex N, and my purpose of my moldy bread experiment is how do different environments affect the growth rate of mold on bread? And the hypothesis is light temperature, humidity, and salt influence the growth rates of the bread mold. Uh, report. Do I have to read that? I would just go right to the procedure. Okay. Procedure. Place five pieces of fresh bread into their own Ziploc bag. Two. In one bag, I sprinkled salt. Refrig and I sprinkled salt. In the second bag, I placed in the refrigerator. In the third bag, I placed in a loose paper towel. In the fourth bag, I did nothing to the bag. And the fifth bag, I put. I placed a Ziploc bag into a big brown paper bag. Every five days, I took a picture of the progress of, of the mold growth. The variables. You don't need to read any of that. So, then you can say... Okay, we're back again. This is my data so far. This is moldy bread, day one. Uh, I did salt, light, and dry. No progress so far. No salt, light, and dry... Nothing. This is all basically nothing. Um, you can say day one, it was just um, clean pieces of bread. Okay. You know, just, just fresh a, pieces of bread. This was fresh pieces of bread, so that I didn't count. Moldy bread experiment, oh, day five. We, um, um, we, there's salt, light, dry. It's all basically has no mold on it except for the humid and light. Because water affects it and makes it grow mold. Mm -hmm. So the for the second day, which is where it got moldy. Okay. Okay. Day ten, light, salt, light, and dry. Um, it's all no mold except for this one. It has a tiny little bit of mold here. Refrigerator cold. Not not no um no mold at all. No light. It has a little bit of mold. Just a just a little bit. And the human and light has more mold than it did last time. Okay, day 15. Salt, light, dry. No salt, light, and dry. Refrigerator, cold. No light, human and light. Okay, so the salt, light, and dry still has no, no mold on it. The no salt, light, and dry has a little bit of mold over here, so if you can see that. The refrigerator, cold, is... Fresh, you can still eat it, but it might be a little stale. It it ha it's not mo there's no mold on it. No light. It has a couple more mold than it did last time, but it's um, more on the bottom than on the top. And a human light is cracking and has more mold than it did last time, and it's growing molds that we don't even know is there. Okay. Mold experiment day 20. Salt, light, and dry has no mold at all, again. No salt, light, and dry has mold on the edges and a little bit in the middle, but there's not a lot of mold. The refrigerator cold is still fresh. Good to, it could do um, eat and um, has no mold. The no light is starting to get more mold. And it's going around the edges and going into the middle. The human in light looks a little bit worse than it did last time, but it looks the same. It's probably like dead now. Okay. <laughs> Moldy experiment day 25. This is the last day. The, the salt, light, and dry has a little bit of mold right in that middle. Just a little bit. Like in two weeks. No salt, light, and dry has mold everywhere, but not like deep, just dark mold, but... It's completely yeah, covering it. Completely covering it. Re refrigerated cold has still no mold on it. It lost my line. <laughs> okay, the no light has a bunch of mold everywhere. It's basically just the same as no salt, light, and dry. It has a little bit of circles, a um, little bit of... Um, light circles where it probably didn't get mold and the humid and light got so moldy that we couldn't take it out of the bag because we might hurl so we left it in the bag and it's like
horrible. Right after that picture, we threw it out. So the 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 um the bread who won the experiment is the human and light. Now, in conclusion. And then in conclusion, salt and color decrease the rate of the growth of bread mold after 25 days by 100 percent. Bread mold grows 50 percent faster in dark than it does in light. Humidity grows bread mold faster than any other variable. So.